Hi, this is Misty Johnson with the Zanesville Museum of Art with another material exploration video. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to do a fun construction paper collage project, but we're also going to be talking about emphasis. Now, emphasis is a principle of design, and it's what artists use to draw your attention. So another way, another way you can say that is to create a focal point in your artwork. So it's drawing the eye. And so today's construction paper collage project is a lot of fun and um, there's just a really cool trick to it. And I'll, I'll get to that in a minute, but um, what I want to show you is one of the ways that artists can create emphasis in their artwork is with color. So if you look at my example here, where does your eye go first? And when I look at it, my eye goes to this group of shapes right here. And that's because of this purposeful use of color. And so if you see my background is orange, and then these other two groupings of shapes are yellow and red, and so they're all warm colors. And so they kind of just go together. But then you throw this blue in here, and it's kind of out of the ordinary from everything else, so your eye goes right to that blue. And there's actually a special word for orange and blue. They're actually complementary colors, and that means that they are opposite on the color wheel. So we have orange here and blue here, so they're exact opposites. And when they get together, they really create a lot of interest and, and they draw your eye. So that's just one way that artists um, can use color to create emphasis in their artwork. So getting on to today's project, these are just really fun collage projects. And a collage is just where you um, take different things and, and glue them together. So you may have made a collage with magazines or um, tissue paper, anything like that. So we're just using simple construction paper and all you need is your construction paper, a pair of scissors, and a glue stick. And so the trick to make these fun shapes is you start with your piece of paper and then you get a block of another color. So if you're using complementary colors, you could, you could do orange and blue, you could do purple and yellow, you can do red and green. Those are the complementary color pairs on our color wheel here. And then all you do is you take your scissors and on one of the straight edges of your block, you cut any shape you want. It can be something recognizable like a triangle, like these over here, or you can just kind of make up your own shapes like these ones here. And so then all you do is you take your shape that you cut out and almost like it's still connected, like it's on a hinge, you take that and you just flip it over and glue it down. And the more shapes you cut out of it, the more interesting and the more fun that your project will turn out like this example here. So all this is, is shapes cut from the center and flipped over like a hinge and glued down and see how creative you can get with your shapes. So I really hope you try this. It's a lot of fun. It's actually a little bit addicting once you get started and you can just make as many of these as you want and try out um, creating a little bit of emphasis in your, in your works with maybe using complementary colors. Uh, we'd love to see that. If you share your work on social media, use the hashtag myzmaart and we would love to see those. So thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next time.